she seems to know what's coming. She doesn't know this immunization will protect her and hundreds like her who come to the Hope Medical Clinics in Kampala, Uganda. Our immunization? Yes. The result of a partnership between Charles Lugemwa with a software engineering master's degree from St. Thomas and its president, Dennis Deese. Charles has developed two clinics and one maternity and pediatric hospital here doing all of this pro bono in the evenings and uh, on the weekends. Patients are wielding. It's a vice that I, I got when I came to St. Thomas. I used to see so many people getting involved in, in community service work. And somehow, I, I, I loved it. The first clinic opened in 2007 in the Neje area of Kampala. To access a service in a commercial clinic, you must have money. Now, it's not the case in my clinic. It's not the case. The first thing we do is to treat you and then ask you to pay for the cost. But it's not like we, we retain you if you don't have the money. At this second clinic in the Kasubi neighborhood, they've seen more than 2,000 patients, treating them for typhoid fever, diarrhea, malnutrition, Jazz, cough, and flu, as well as malaria. Malaria is one of the uh, biggest uh, killers of children on this continent and how it just takes three to five little pills that cost next to nothing. Any doubts I had about getting in over my head kind of get, get cast aside. Providing care quickly and cheaply is standard at the clinics and at the Ruth Gaylord Maternity and Pediatric Hospital in Kampala. They have given this one vitamin A. She's six months. Where patients were treated before the place officially opened on land donated by the church. Can a human being be complete with faith and academic education, but with no health care? No. So we said, if we located our clinic at each of the locations where there is a school and a parish, okay, we are guaranteed that there are people who will access that facility. And they are. Our motto should be, um, every mother goes home with a healthy baby, and every baby goes home with a healthy mother. <laughs> Charles is a can-do, make-it-happen kind of person who combines that ability with a uh, profound dedication to the common good. How do you count the value of the lives that uh, they have already saved and will be saving? To serve the common good, that's what St. Thomas is all about. The day we forget that is the day we should shut the lights out. Charles and his wife, Maria, who lost a child to poor medical treatment, know how to count the value. The best way you could contribute is to make it not happen to any other person. Doing clinics, we are preventing that from happening. It's the gift of education that makes me do what I do, that makes me see things from a different angle. Without that gift, it wouldn't be possible for me to do what I'm doing today. What he's doing today for the people of Kampala makes him the 2013 Humanitarian of the Year. I feel satisfied, I feel happy when I see someone benefiting from what I've done. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2013 Humanitarian of the Year, Charles Lugemwa. <laughs>